In today's continuous development of global aviation technology, major military powers are competing to develop more advanced weapons systems, and the importance of air-to-air -air missiles in modern air warfare is becoming more and more prominent. Recently, China's PL-17 air-to-air missile has attracted widespread attention and discussion. As a new ultra-long-range air-to-air missile, the PL-17 has attracted the world's attention with its outstanding performance and technological breakthroughs. PL-17 adopts multiple composite modes such as inertial guidance and active radar guidance, which makes it more resistant to jamming and able to accurately identify, track and attack targets in complex electromagnetic environments and improves the probability of hitting highly maneuverable targets. PL-17 bullet length of about 6 meters, bullet diameter of about 0.3 meters, bullet weight of about 500 kilograms, the maximum flight speed of Mach 6, that is, 2052 m.s. Some foreign media said that the PL-17 range can reach 500 kilometers. Is the world's farthest range of active air-to-air -air missiles? All the parameters involving PL-17 show that it has a powerful combat capability in air warfare, capable of realizing precise strikes on targets at ultra-long distances and reaching the required attack area quickly to improve the suddenness and destructive effect of strikes. Now, about the range of PL-17, the latest news from the internet for fighters and other high-altitude, high-speed, highly maneuverable stealth fighters and other air targets, the range of more than 500 kilometers, for AWACS, refueling planes, bombers, transports and other large-scale aerial targets, it can reach an amazingly mind-boggling 1,000 kilometers of maximum range. The latest involving PL-17 air-to-air missile range, if the latest news of the network is correct, has completely subverted the previous netizens on the range of air-to-air -air missiles cognitive level thought to be able to more than 400 kilometers, but did not expect the maximum range of the PL-17, suddenly increased by more than twice the original, which is also too incredible. In other words, the enemy's early warning aircraft, refueling planes or bombers, even if they are hiding in the long distance, safe zone, it is difficult to escape the pursuit of this missile. These key support aircraft once destroyed, the support of the fighter group will fall into passive, which is a fatal blow to the enemy forces. So how exactly does the PL-17 achieve this feat? According to test data, a target-target aircraft flew at 1.5 times the speed of sound and also performed extreme maneuvers for more than 40 seconds, but the result was still unable to escape the missile attack. This directly demonstrates that the PL-17 has excellent dynamic tracking and target locking capabilities and can effectively respond to highly maneuverable targets? One might question whether, at such a long distance, the warplanes launching the missiles would have difficulty in guiding them effectively because of the distance. This question was obviously taken into consideration. However, the innovative thinking of the Chinese side has once again overturned the norm. To overcome this challenge, Chinese research experts plan to use high-performance drones as guidance platforms, especially nowadays, when smart drone networks are gradually taking shape. The combat mode of drones operating in concert with manned aircraft will become the norm. Our Air Alert 3000 early warning aircraft together with the Xindiao unmanned early warning aircraft are already capable of carrying out wide area reconnaissance and command missions. This not only demonstrates China's rapid progress in the field of unmanned combat and cyber warfare, but also provides a solid foundation for the strategic use of PL-17 missiles. The sixth generation fighter, known as the J-36, which has now made its maiden flight and is being developed by Avic Group's Chengfei company, is capable of carrying at least eight PL-17 air-to-air missiles in its built and belly bomb bay. In the future, after the official entry into the Chinese Air Force, the operation of the PL-17 combat method, then the J-16, J-26 and other active fighters are more abundant, the killing power is also more powerful. J-36, carrying PL-17 air-to-air missiles, can shoot down stealth fighters 500 kilometers away, cruising at supersonic speeds at Mach 1.5 when performing air-to-air -air combat missions. If the J-36 is flying at 20,000 meters with a cruising speed of Mach 1.5 and performing penetrating combat missions, it can strike early warning planes, bombers, transport planes, refueling planes, anti-submarine planes, and other large-scale air targets at a distance of 1,000 kilometers air targets. According to the military website of the war zone, the practical exercise on the map found that the J-36 has an amazing combat radius of more than 3,000 kilometers, early warning aircraft, 
refueling planes, bombers and other large-scale high-value targets, even if they are withdrawn to the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the North or the South, it would be difficult to escape from the fate of the turkey-like hunting. After practical exercises, no wonder the Pentagon and the assessment of PL-17 ultra-long-range air-to-air missiles in different modes of operation said that with the PL-17 ultra-long-range air-to-air missiles into the ranks of the future rules of the air war is about to be completely changed.